is an excuse. Champions take full responsibility, good or bad, for their outcomes. Tell the world one time what you're gonna do, and that's it. Spend less time talking and more time grinding. Think like a champion. Speak like a champion. And then walk it out. Grind 120 all day, every day. Stop making excuses. Champions make adjustments, not excuses. Every time you justify being average, you invite in the enemy. Mediocrity is a dream killer. Your coach, your trainer, your teacher, your foes is not the problem. It's your consistency. is on the left, success is on the right, you gotta choose which one you want. A champion's workout doesn't officially begin until pain arrives. You see, greatness is right on the other side of pain. So what are you running from it for? You say you want to be successful, then push through it. Stop making excuses and go get it. Very few battles are won under ideal circumstances. So you gotta simulate and practice the unknown so that the unexpected will not derail you. Every morning when you get up, ask yourself, how can I put myself in a place where I'll be uncomfortable? See, you have to master the unknown. You gotta master your fears. You gotta master the unexpected. So when it happens, you are prepared. Champions can push through and keep going when everyone else around them is quitting. They have immersed themselves in pain so often that they have become immune to it. Greatness is on the other side of pain. Go get it! The more you expose yourself to pain, the more comfortable you will become in its presence. A champion's workout doesn't officially start until pain arrives. Everything else is just a warm up. A boxer can be the best technician in the world. But if he gets in the ring and the first time he gets hit, he falls apart, he's not gonna be a champion, I tell you that. See, in life it's just like that with us. We're good until we get hit in the face. But what separates champions from the rest is when they get hit, they keep coming. When you hit them a second time, they get stronger. And by that third time that life hits you and you're still standing, the world will know there's a champion in the ring. How bad do you want to be successful? Do you want it bad enough to get hit in the face? Because I tell you right now, that's what life's going to do to you. It's going to hit you when you least expect it. When you got your guard down, how will you respond? Refuse to let the world break you. Show life what a champion looks like. I'm Billy Osbrooks, blessed and unstoppable. What kind of life do you want to live? Success is a choice. It's a decision that only you can make for you. First comes the choice, then comes the commitment. Are you willing to commit to doing what it takes to go?